By the early 2000s, the original Kings of Comedy's D.L. Hughley had his own sitcom, along with Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer, who both shared the same hit series. Despite the men getting their network breaks, many thought it was ridiculous that all of the original Kings of Comedy had their own sitcoms except for the headliner, Bernie Mac. Now, that would all change when producer Larry Wilmore approached Mac about starring in a comedy series based off his own stand-up routine. The show would follow Bernie Mac playing a fictional version of himself raising his sister's three kids after she checks into a rehab center. A lot of the humor of the show came from Mac's unique style of parenting, which would be the heart of the series, The Bernie Mac Show. On the show, Bernie and his wife Wanda would welcome their nieces Vanessa and Brianna into their home, along with nephew Jordan, played by actor Jeremy Suarez. Now, Jordan was, in layman's terms, the nerdy child, prone to asthma attacks and one who viewers would root for in every episode. It was Suarez's accurate portrayal as Jordan that viewers of the Bernie Mac show would grow to have a heart for, and that is why Jeremy Suarez as Jordan is unforgotten. In 1996, a then six-year-old Jeremy Suarez made his acting debut in an episode of Sister Sister. From there, he would stay consistent playing in several TV shows and films. The California natives' other roles include playing Cuba Gooding Jr.'s son in Jerry Maguire, the Wayans brothers, Beverly Hills 90210, and episodes of Mad TV. Now in 1997, Suarez got a supporting role in the short-lived sitcom Built to Last. The series only lasted eight episodes before being canceled by NBC. After spending a few years as a guest actor on a few other shows, Suarez was casted in his most famous role to date, Jordan Tompkins on The Bernie Mac Show in 2001. Suarez was a main cast member of the series for all five seasons and appeared in all 104 episodes of the sitcom. Each week we would see Jordan either get into it with his siblings or find himself taking in some valuable advice from his uncle, Bernie Mac. For his performance, Suarez would go on to earn two NAACP Image Award nominations and two BET Comedy Award nominations, both for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. As far as the series, The Bernie Mac Show was a hit for Fox, winning three consecutive NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Comedy Series, and his star, Bernie Mac, would win four straight Image Awards for acting. Bernie had an amazing impact on set, according to Suarez. When the cast was interviewed by Larry King in 2008, shortly after Mac's death, the cast would open up about their time with Mac. Bernie was the type of person who, right when you meet him, you felt comfortable with him. Everywhere he went, laughs just followed, and good times followed him. Right when I first met him, we instantly connected, I think. It really helped make that show good. Bernie was like a father figure to me. He always stressed hard work and humility about everything, and he never acted like he was a star. If you came on set, he would make you feel comfortable and welcome. It was really good. In 2006, after a respected run on TV, the Bernie Mac show would end. The combination of Bernie's health declining, along with Fox Network continuously shuffling its time slots, appeared to be the main reasons why the show came to an end. Now, two years after the series, Bernie Mac would pass away in August 2008 due to complications of pneumonia after suffering from sarcoidosis. Suarez and the rest of his cast would attend the funeral. Bernie was much more than just a TV uncle, but also a mentor and a person who I truly admired and looked up to, and was one of the greatest role models I've had thus far in my life. The world has lost a great comic, but the people who knew him personally lost a friend, a mentor, and a person who was so warm. You couldn't help but feel connected to him from the moment you met him. Since the ending of the Bernie Mac show, Suarez's run in Hollywood would begin to slow down. For a few years, Suarez almost exclusively only did voiceover acting. He voiced a puppet in 2009 NBA Finals commercial, and he was the voice of Coda in Brother Bear and his sequel. Fat Albert, The Proud Family, and King of the Hill are also some of the roles on his resume. Suarez's last credited role was the live-action movie The Fix in 2015, so it appears he would transition out of being a known child actor to take a break from show business to live a normal life. In November of 2017, Suarez would end up becoming a married man by marrying his longtime girlfriend, Maria. 
Now with his venture out of Hollywood and the growing family life, Suarez would continue to make sure his ends were met. Last year, it would be revealed that he was working at an AT&T store in Alabama. A co-worker and fan of the Bernie Mac show would end up posting Suarez at work on Twitter. I'm trying to tell y'all I work with Jordan from the Bernie Mac show, bro. Y'all don't be believing me, bro. Is this man in the flesh? The moment, as expected, would go viral, especially for fans who stopped keeping up with the actor in 2006. According to the same co-worker, Suarez would end up leaving his AT&T job and return to California. Look at, hey, my man, my man leaving, y'all. Jeremy leaving me, bro. He finna go be in California and be famous again, bro. He gots to go. Hey, the boy famous, man. He finna leave, bitch. Right? He gone. He gone. Now, from the looks of his Instagram page that he started back in 2018, Suarez still keeps in touch with his former co-stars, Camille Winbush, who played Vanessa, and Dee Dee Davis, who played Brianna. Last year, the three would volunteer at a girls and boys club in Albany, Georgia. Every time I see Dee Dee or Camille, we have a blast and a great time. We all have such a good, close bond. Now, back in July of last year, Bernie Mac show fans would get a chance to check out the entire cast reunited on TV One to celebrate 10 years since the show's ending. As of now, there's no official announcement if a reboot of the show is happening, but Kalita Smith would confirm with Comedy Hype that a project with her and her former castmates was being talked about. Um, no, we're, we, we, the kids and I are um, um, developing stuff together. Um, we just really feel like um, his memory can best be remembered as long as we continue to work together. This news would be further back thanks to a video shared on Instagram back in April 2018 that showed the cast outside of Netflix's office. After seeing this, fans of the show couldn't hold in their excitement and rumors of a reboot have continued to spread. Suarez's performance as Jordan won fans overnight from the start as he would supply his fair share of laughs and become America's little brother. So even if Suarez completely leaves Hollywood behind to enjoy his now normal life, the former child actor will always remain unforgotten.